Hey there you guys, welcome back. Uh, today, well, actually I was mentioning in the other video, the, the grow room video, um, I have a white fly problem. Uh, it's just started, it's not overwhelming, it's not uh, something to write home about, but it's something to be aware of and and it's best to take action before it gets a little bit too bad. Uh, white flies, uh, they do some damage, they're, they're not really that bad I suppose. You get some flecking on some leaves, the larva can, can go in and damage roots and it, if, if it's a huge infestation, infestation, it can be a bad thing. But um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat this before it becomes a problem. Um, at Canadian Tire, a local hardware store here in Canada, um, actually it's more than a hardware store now, like everything, it's like a Walmart, except it doesn't sell groceries, but it sells everything else. Um, I got these sticky strips, of, I think they were like a dollar each. Uh, normally they're about six or seven dollars. Uh, I've used these before uh, working in greenhouses, uh, not this particular brand, but uh, still yellow sticky cards. Uh, white flies, fungus gnats, uh, many of your flying insects are attracted to the color yellow. So you want to find something that is yellow and sticky. You can make your own uh, by taking maybe some, uh, some yellow bristol board or uh, like a yellow card stock. Um, make sure that it's um, a nice bright yellow. Uh, they don't want to go to like the darker mustard yellows. Uh, make sure it's nice and bright. And uh, stick some Vaseline. Uh, you can rub some Vaseline on, on the sticky card. Vaseline doesn't feel like it's too, too sticky, but it doesn't need to have a, a really tacky surface uh, for the bug to, to stick to it and hold to it. Uh, there's also something that you can use if uh, if... I've heard that um, Vaseline under high temperatures will start to melt off the card and, and get kind of messy. Um, there's something that you can use also that's called, uh, I do believe it's Tangle Foot. Um, it's used on fruit trees. You, you, um, you paint it around the base of the fruit tree so that when the bug starts climbing up it gets stuck so it can't go up and, and damage any part of the tree. So, as you can see, these are really, really, really yellow, and they've got like a, a glue on there. I don't want to touch it. With these particular ones, the, the kit comes with a little green stake, and it's got little little hooky things on there. I don't know if you can see that. These ones you, you bend in half thusly, and then you pinch it on the stake like that. Then these will go in the plant. Hey, this is a good find. I, I'm really happy that I found uh, I found these uh, sticky strips for, for about a dollar. They come in really, really handy. I've used them outside. Uh, sometimes, uh, some years, we have a problem with, uh, with house flies or bottle flies. Um, those gassy looking flies, the, the ones with the very metallic look to them. Um, I don't know what happened, but around my neighborhood, they, they were really, really bad. Whenever we'd water the garden, they just like go to it. And we'd have hundreds of them in the backyard. We started putting these in the pots. Within minutes, we had like full cards and I'd have to switch them up. So they, they come with a, uh, a covering, a little, uh, it's almost like a parchment paper cover. So you take that off, very, very yellow, fold it over, try not to get your fingers all stuck on it. <laughs> it's almost impossible and then you attach it to this thing and the the package itself comes with with multiple uh, sticks and and you could stick them into each other so you can have a huge fly spike really it huge but I'm just gonna use these small two uh, two strip um, things and uh, I'm just going to stick it in the pots uh, hmm Excuse me here. My legs fall asleep. I'm sitting on the concrete floor. I don't think I can get up. <laughs> I don't don't think I can move. It'll take me about 10 minutes. So, okay, this is a bad example. If you have a lot of small plants and they won't uh, fit in a pot, you can take a little pot filled with soil, like a little two inch pot, stick this in there and have it around your plants. You can move it around as, as you see um, a little infestation. 
Hmm. Okay. Let's take this adenium and we'll just stick it in the side just like that. Just let it hang out there. Uh, the yellow will attract the, uh, the insects and then they'll stick to it. You don't have to replace this card uh, very often unless it becomes uh, completely caked with bugs. Uh, I usually leave mine in for, for a season or two. I usually take it out when, when it just becomes uh, full of insects and, and it just they can't really hold anymore and then I'll replace them and, and uh, go on and do it again. I haven't had too much of a problem though with, with flying insects since I got the carnivorous plants in the grow space. They really do a wonderful job. Again, if you can find some uh, butterworts or um, sundews, tropical, grow them in your grow space. Have them under the lights. They do a wonderful job. And a lot of them flower all season long. Uh, my butterwort still looks beautiful. Let me uh, let me bring that out and show you. It's another method. Oh, you guys are going... <laughs> I can't feel my foot. I can't feel my foot. Oh my gosh, I really can't. <laughs> Okay, so the butterwort is looking really, 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 really good. I love this. You'll remember it from uh, from a few videos ago. I've I've been doing updates on this uh, quite regularly. But as you can see, the flowers look like violas. This will stay growing all winter long. It's uh, it's been catching fungus gnats. As you can see, all the little uh, black specks. I don't really see any flying around in my grow space. It, it really does a great job at catching them before I, uh, I see them. The, it's inevitable to have them in your grow space. Uh, you're going to have moist soil. There's going to be fungus in the soil that they'll feed on. They're, they're, they're going to be there. There's nothing you can do to uh, avoid that, especially if you water regularly. If you keep uh, your soil dry, fungus gnats won't be a, a real problem, but your plants might suffer. Um, but whitefly is a totally different matter, and this, this seems to do a good job at, uh, at catching that too. And as you can see, the, the flowers, this hasn't uh, stopped flowering for maybe five months, six months. It's been flowering all summer long. It was flowering in the springtime. It's just been going like crazy. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. So in this video, we covered... Uh, how I deal with the whitefly and other flying insect issues. Uh, hopefully it can help you out. And uh, yeah, it really works for me. And uh, if you like this video, just uh, hit, the, hit the like button. And uh, don't be afraid to subscribe. I upload videos regularly, so uh, I would love it if you joined me regularly. Happy growing, everyone.